So it's, uh, it's been a week, just over a week since we put the quails, the new quails into the main aviary. And uh, as you can hear, we've definitely got one male. I mean, it's not too bad, but you know, in the middle of the night, it's just not nice. Uh, I believe there might be two males. The one definitely looks like a male, and so does the other one. One makes noise, one doesn't, and I talked to you about it in a bit anyway. But um, also, I talked to you about the uh, the duck eggs, which not good news, but we've got some other news. Uh, but first of all, what I'm gonna do is um, I moved the beer fridge into the corner because down here we used to have like a big box to house the. Um, recycling boxes before you got recycling wheelie bins uh, so I've now moved it and moved the beer fridge into the corner but I can't Emma's I'm all right I don't mind it's fine but Emma can't get to the tap which is down here uh, so what I'm going to do is move the beer fridge out of the way got a bit of copper pipe I'm just going to extend the pipe uh, and have it so the tap is up here so that's what I'm going to do first and then we'll talk about the eggs and the quails That actually went really well, straightforward, just tap, extended, brilliant. Don't usually go that well for me. There was a couple of hairy moments, which I'll stick at the end of the video so you can have a look at them. But um, yeah, I did kind of like spill some stuff off the shelf in the fridge as I was moving it. But anyway, what we're gonna do now is go, we're gonna go down the shed uh, and talk about what didn't happen with the mandarin duck eggs. Oh. Well, <laughs> what can I say? Cut a long story short, just, well, they didn't hatch they didn't form one of the eggs burst uh early on probably after about two or three days which is because it wasn't i believe it was probably because it wasn't fertile so therefore it gets a build up of bacteria inside it and just it didn't like explode it just sort of like cracked open and the other five i think two started forming embryos but the other three didn't so you know mandarin ducks are not the easiest things to incubate at all compared to other ducks uh, but anyway, they're gone. So what I've done now is we've actually got some more. Got six more. I spoke to my friend. He transferred me some money. Got six more Mandarin duck eggs uh, and six Indian runner duck eggs, which apparently are a lot easier to hatch. They've been in there now for three days. I think it's three days they've been in there. Uh, they seem all right. I'm going to probably candle them tomorrow night. We might be able to see the starts of the embryos forming. And fingers crossed these should be all right i mean there was nothing wrong the incubator was absolutely fine the only thing that i'm doing different it's uh when incubating the eggs you, people like humidity is one thing that you well, you can control but i don't know what you know people say oh no just keep them low keep them low like 30 percent and then others are like no incubate them at 70 percent humidity and you know like, well what's right what's wrong so the last ones are kept around about 30 35 percent and obviously they didn't work so these ones are being they sit between 60 and 70 the whole time temperatures bang on it's reading 37.6 uh which has dropped down to 37.5 36 37.5 so that's pretty much i mean at night time the humidity drops slightly probably around five or six percent around, around about 58 60 percent at the minute it's sitting probably right on the limit of 69 70 percent so fingers crossed another 25 days to go and we might actually hatch these eggs out so they can go to their new home 
which is what the plan was in the first place with the other ones but I'm adamant that I can do mandarin duck eggs in this incubator because I know it does work I've, hence the quails which we're going to have a look at them shortly but I need to go and sort things out in the house because everyone's just being lazy you've got they've made a massive den just sitting on YouTube doing nothing Georgia Blesser has just earned so much money done so many chores today she wants to go shopping she's now peeling vegetables for dinner and um, yeah brilliant So yeah, the quails are the new quails, six of them that we hatched out of the 12 eggs. They're just over four weeks old and they've been in the aviary now for just over a week, maybe 10 days. And we've quickly established that we definitely have at least one male. I think there's definitely, there's two males. I'm sure there's two males, but only one's making noise. And he is rampant. He is, he is just, obviously he just wants the females and he just will not leave them alone. He's just chasing around everywhere all day long pulling feathers out of them just mounting them and it's horrible and it just makes a lot of noise but the noise has probably been kind of like shelved because we've got over there you can see him just about to see him i'll show you him that is boris he is a young male cockatiel which uh got off someone he's clipped uh done exchange an exchange for a couple of male budgies had to reduce numbers because of COVID-19 not being able to get rid of any birds but finally have got rid of four budgies sold two two budgies uh, and swapped two budgies for Boris but he's really noisy really noisy I mean I know I grew up with cockatiels I know how noisy they can be but honestly it's just I wouldn't say he's relentless but I'm gonna have to train him to not do it He's so loud. I mean, I didn't realise that, like, the, I think the loudest cockatiel ever recorded was recorded at 123 decibels, which is uh, probably around about 10 decibels lower than a jet plane taking off. So, yeah, it's like half four in the morning, as soon as it gets light, he's just, mm, I don't think the neighbours are going to like me at all. And with the quail, but, you know, the quail's not that noisy compared to Boris. Uh, so um, yeah I mean we've started as well they've actually started to lay eggs because obviously we're used to the size of the eggs that we get from our um, other three quails that we had but now we've obviously five four more females in there just started to notice a few small eggs appearing which must be theirs because I know what ours look like so um, yeah I'm gonna like gonna go in there give it a clean out have a little tidy up because um, well there's lots of birds I need to get rid of some finches as well, which hopefully I'm going to speak to the pet shop this week uh, and get rid of a load of finches and try and get a female to shut Boris up, possibly. So, thanks for watching. Uh, next video, hopefully, we'll be candling the new duck eggs. Uh, and fingers crossed, we'll have better luck. I'm doing higher humidity this time, so we shall see. So, thanks for watching. See you next one. Bye.